Hey friends, it's Holly from Chic Antique and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making over this dining set for one of my clients. It was previously painted, but most of the paint is in good shape, so that's good. It just has some scratches in a couple areas where the paint has been removed. And this dining set did come with six chairs. I only photographed four with the table, so I definitely have my work cut out for me today. It also came with this little matching Lazy Susan. This is the bottom side. It was a little bit damaged, so we're going to fix up that as well. Before cleaning, I'm going to vacuum this first to remove dust and any cobwebs inside the table. Now on the bottom of the table, there were these little plastic feet that had been painted and I don't recommend painting these so I'm actually peeling off the previous paint. You can see it didn't adhere properly because it's plastic and these don't need to be painted anyway. Now I'm gonna put on my gloves and I'll be cleaning using Dixie Belle's White Lightning. This is a TSP cleaner. All of these pieces were a lot dirtier than they look. So I'm using a separate bucket to rinse out my rag, rinse out the dirt, and then I have my TSP in a separate bucket. This keeps my TSP from getting dirty too fast and makes it last longer. Now I'm going to start cleaning the underside of this Lazy Susan. A lot of this seemed to be just built up food and dirt and such, and so I'm going to remove as much of it as I can, but later I'm actually going to be sanding off all the paint on this underside because there's no need for paint to be there, and that can cause transferring and scratches. So we're going to sand that down to bare wood a little later. And on the right is my dirty water and the left is my TSP. Now I'm going to rinse off that TSP cleaner so we don't have any residue. So I'll be doing that with clean, clear water. After letting everything dry really thoroughly, I'm going to come back and start sanding. I'm going to be using 120 grit on the seats just to smooth out any scratches. Then I'm gonna vacuum up that dust and come back with 220 grit to smooth it out. And I'll also be scuffing everything else with 220 grit sandpaper as well. The sanding is gonna help remove any small scratches, but it's also going to help my paint adhere really well to the surface because this previous green paint did have a somewhat satin finish, so it did have a sheen on it. Now I'm going to be filling in any damage that I couldn't sand out. I'll be using DAP plastic wood filler in natural. And 
I did the same process on every single piece of this dining set. So I'm going to show you the process on the tabletop too. You do need to let this wood filler dry for a few hours, but once it's dry, you can smooth it out with 220 grit sandpaper. Before painting, I do need to remove all that sanding dust, so I'll be doing that with a tack cloth. Now I'll be using Rust-Oleum's Gloss Protective Enamel Spray Paint in Navy Blue. With flat surfaces like this, I like to do really, really, really thin coats. So this may look sloppy, but I did about six coats of paint to get really even coverage. And it also prevents the paint from cracking because when you're working on a flat surface like this, the paint isn't able to drip. When you apply too much paint, that's what causes dripping when you spray paint. But when it's flat, it isn't able to drip, so the paint reacts by cracking. For chairs, I like to do the bottoms first, so I laid these down and sprayed the legs and the bottom side first. And then here's the second coat. For the base of the table, I did the same thing as I did with the chairs. I flip it over upside down so I can paint the bottom side and the legs a little bit easier, and then I'll flip it over. Painting things upside down and then right side up also prevents you from missing areas because it allows you to see from each side, from the bottom and the top. So you're less likely to miss spots when you're painting. And here is my third coat on the top. You can see I'm getting a lot better coverage now, but I'm still using light coats and it does get repetitive after a while. So that's why I'm not showing every coat of paint. So I'd say this third coat was still a pretty thin coat, but my fourth coat was even thicker. And then my sixth coat was my thickest coat to get the best, smoothest coverage. After letting the paint dry on the bottoms of the chairs, I flipped them over and now I'm painting the tops.
since it is almost springtime here in Portland, there are a lot of animals outside. So you'll notice a lot of birds chirping and a lot of frogs croaking. I apologize for that, but that's just part of living in Oregon and filming outside. There's going to be a lot of nature sounds. <laughs> And here's that second coat on the tops as well. I did a similar makeover last year, spray painting a dining set, so if you like this makeover, make sure to check out that video as well. I'll have that linked in the description. And then I flipped over the base of the table and spraying all the areas that I missed when it was flipped over. Since this is a gloss paint, it looks the same when it's wet compared to when it's dry. And I just really love how this glossy paint looks on the curves of this base. Now I'm going to seal these with a clear coat for extra durability. I'll be using Rust-Oleum's Crystal Clear Enamel. And I don't want anything to get in my clear coat, so I'm coming back with the tack cloth again to remove any dust that may get in my clear coat. The nice thing about this clear coat is it doesn't change the sheen at all. It really is crystal clear. So if you have a matte paint, it's going to keep your paint matte. If you have gloss or satin, it's going to keep that sheen. So I really like this one for that reason. And here is the Lazy Susan. Look how pretty that sheen is. And before I show you how these turned out, I just want to remind you what we started with. And here's how everything looks now.
thank you all so much for joining me on this makeover. I hope you enjoyed the process. I seriously cannot get over the sheen and the color of this. It's just so vibrant, so glossy, and so chic in my opinion. It's so much more pretty than what we started out with. I really love how it turned out. If you like this style of content, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. That way you're notified every time I upload. And before you leave, I would love it if you would check out some of my other videos. I'll have my most recent upload in the eye above as well as down below in the description. And again, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support and for being here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This is stuff that other people notice. Do people notice that or is that a just me thing? Like I literally like searched for hours on Rustoleum to find an actual cure time and I don't have it.